He's the fourth richest man in the country. This weekend, he showed off his newest acquisition. My family and I offer our thanks for your constant enthusiasm for this new arena and for the Portland Trailblazers. The Rose Garden, built with $46 million in equity from Paul Allen, has made him Portland's favorite son. Well, there are, there are a few times early on in the process we were trying, during negotiations, we were trying to tie a few things down where I, th I thought it might not happen. But, uh, you know, we got over those humps, and I'm, I'm, I'm certainly glad that we're, you know, we're, we're where we are today. From the miles and miles of fiber optic cable. For a man who rarely seeks the spotlight, the Trailblazer owner happily stole it from NBA Commissioner David Stern. Sitting at a table with uh, Paul Allen talking about technology is uh, daunting, so I want to talk, I want to give a low-tech presentation. What Stern can relate to is Allen's passion for basketball. This fan doesn't just watch the game, he diligently works on his three-pointers, always going for the high-risk shot. Were you a Trailblazer fan before you bought the team? Uh, actually, I was a Sonics fan. And uh, then I found the Trailblazers were found out the Trailblazers were for sale, and and was able to uh, negotiate a uh, uh, deal with Larry Weinberg to purchase the team. Allen has big plans for the Blazers' new home. He wants this place to rock. What kind of groups would you come to see that were playing here, Paul? Well, if there are loud guitars involved, probably <laughs> that, that's the kind of music I enjoy most. I definitely grew up uh, listening to, to, to rock and roll in the, in the 60s, and I'm, I'm a guitar player myself and uh, have my own band, so uh, that's, that, that is the kind of music I love. Allen is worth about $6.1 billion, uh, mainly due to his Microsoft fortune, but he clearly understates his wealth. And obviously, uh, in business, uh, you know, I've had some success there that, that's far exceeded uh, you know, my expectations as well. That success allows him to catch any Blazer game, no matter where he is. If they're on satellite, I watch them on satellite. Or if they're not on satellite, I usually listen to them on the phone. Uh, yeah, so. You listen to them on the phone? Oh, yeah. He's an owner that cares greatly about the game. What I try to do is, is you know, at, the, at those, at those uh, you know, critical or special times, try to encourage the fans to support the team.